let's talk about Lay Fink, because Lay Fink was awarded Woman of the Year by USA Today. And what will come as no surprise to you at all, he's not a woman at all. Because women don't win women's prizes anymore, because the people giving out the prizes are far more interested in being, you know, woke than anything else. But regardless, Lay, to use the name that it's using, is the first openly transgender person to grace the Minnesota House of Representatives. Lucky them. And yes, he's a man. And since being elected, he authored HB 1655 to amend a pre-existing bill about discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation. Now, we need to take a quick look at this. Uh, I can't do this whole thing justice and explain it well without sharing it with you. So we're going to come over here. All right. So right here, we see that sexual orientation was defined as the sort of protected class. And yes, that's a totally different, totally separate argument about protected classes. I don't like, I don't like them either, but we need to look at this. So under here, under sexual orientation, it says sexual orientation means having or being perceived as having an emotional, physical or sexual attachment to another person without regard to the sex of that person or having or being perceived as having an orientation for such attachment. And then you see the part that is being removed by this transgender man. And by transgender man, I mean he's actually a man. It says, or having or being perceived as having a self-image or identity not traditionally associated with one's biological maleness or femaleness. Sexual orientation does not include a physical or sexual attachment to children by an adult. That last line. Sexual orientation does not include a physical or sexual attraction, sorry, attachment to children by an adult. So, <clears throat> firstly, just to get the one part out of the way, this first sentence that he is removing here is what we now call gender identity, right? And so he puts that back in, in this new underlined section here. So don't worry, it's covered and fully protected. But then he gets rid of, also, this section that specifically is, is excluding pedophilia from being a protected group. Because that's why that was there, right? Is to make sure that, that pedophilia wasn't included as simply an orientation. That attraction to children was not simply an orientation, or as it calls it, attachment to children. But he removed that, and that doesn't appear anywhere. This is the only instance of child or children in the document I looked. So he sort of removes this protection um, against, against that. Thus, now pedophilia can be just thrown in with sexual orientation. Doesn't really seem like an accident. And he's all outraged on social media that some conservatives are bringing this up because they obviously hate trans people, but has yet to say exactly why it is that he removed that why it is that he felt the need to well it looks like just simply protect pedophiles because that's all it seems to be and you know the whole thing about pedophilia being a sexual orientation it it kind of makes sense if you accept the fact that our society accepts our society accepts the idea that if you have any sort of attraction to anything or anyone then it's it's, it's justified. It's just you. It's part of who you are. It's the way that you were born and therefore is perfectly acceptable, right? And that's, that's the basis of the acceptance of homosexuality in our society is, well, that's just another orientation as opposed to the, um, the more traditional belief, but I think there's also the accurate belief that there is one sexual orientation. There is to be healthy. And then there is to be disordered in different ways. Okay, like if a person has an attraction toward the same sex, then it's disordered. If he has an attraction to animals, he's disordered. If he has an attraction to children, he's disordered. That was the traditional and is the correct approach. But when you start accepting, well, these different attractions to other people, because they have them, because they have these the same sex attraction, that in some way defines them and is an acceptable orientation that kind of lays the groundwork for everything else that would come after it. 
Because on what basis do you argue that an attraction to the same sex is perfectly valid, but an attraction to a child is not valid? I mean, yeah, it's, it's disgusting. Um, and it's heinous when it happens, but I think that we or so-called conservatives who make this argument, they erode their own argument. We ought to go back to saying the truth, which is that heterosexuality is healthy. It is the healthy, normal state of things. And other attractions are disordered. But anyway, going back to Fink for a minute, Fink held several rallies for, as he calls them, trans kids. He seems to have something of an attract, sorry, something of an obsession with children. That's one of the main things he talks about is trans children. He also, one of his first actions in the uh, legislature there was to allow minors to come to the state to receive puberty blockers or hormones within Minnesota. In other words, creating a sanctuary for the abuse of children. This is can I say this is the way that we're going, or is this just simply where we are? Because, I mean, quite literally, this is an elected official. So this isn't where we're going. We have reached the state when elected officials are trying to make, first of all, uh, pedophilia acceptable, seemingly as, an, as a, by hiding it as a sexual orientation. And secondly, to make it possible and encourage the sexualization of children in different parades and drag shows, that kind of stuff. And third, to mutilate them by making, of course, certain states sanctuaries for that mutilation. This is evil. You know, it, it's wrong. And it is, in many ways, the likely consequence of the slow erosion of values that has taken place over the past decades. And we need to go back. And I, I'm so kind of tired of the conservative attempt to simply slow down the, the the pace at which we give everything up. Like, people cheered on, cheered Florida when they put in that bill, the so-called don't say gay bill, which is what the, the leftists called it. it. The conservatives cheered it because it prohibited this sex education and the LGBT education in schools, but it went up to like third grade. Like, <laughs> That's as far as we're pushing. You, you see, I hope you see what I'm saying. Like, like it's a sort of like minimalistic stand because so many are afraid to speak the truth in a time when we so badly need it. We have a culture that just seems to be falling apart, and so few people willing to say what needs to be said, and instead to indulge in a type of cowardice that simply let's slow down what the left are doing just a little bit longer. Well, what what kind of society do you tend intend to leave? For the children of today, uh, not much of one, I would certainly say. No, and we can, but we we absolutely have to do better than that. Hey, you're still here! Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it with your friends. I've also got links in the description as to how you can help support my work. Thank you so much.